Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode four of Girls Band Cry. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. They are, aren't they? I mean, with practice, yeah. Right? It, she is just in her own world. Come on. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, you are right about that, but she's still going to look at them as their biggest, as y'all's biggest competitors. Hmm? What's wrong? Nina, did you really ask that? <laughs> right?
right? Maybe, you know, let her talk about it when she's ready. Nina! Ooh. Okay, hold up. Time out. Time out. The fact that she did not answer that, you know, maybe says that Momoka is for the other team, but, you know, we, we can't confirm nor deny as of right now. <gasps> she looks so cute. <laughs> That's why. I do like the outfit, but I know that's definitely something for me I would not wear in the summertime. Maybe more in the wintertime. Yes. Right? She can't exactly just tell her, oh, hey, Grandma, I don't want to be an actress anymore. I want to play in a band. What if she might disown her? Like, think about that, Nina. Yeah, 
think she does. You can't say no to her. Gotta dig deep. You just have to go with it, Nina. There's nothing else you can do. Momoka cares. Don't think that she doesn't care, though. Damn.
Mm-hmm. Damn. She looks just like her right there. Well, it's going to be a sad day for Grandma when she finds out. You got this. change her mind again? <sighs> I mean, yes, we all do. Right?
We know, as she said, there's one day she's got to really tell her grandma that, like, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. And, and I think that's going to be a really hard day for her, Subaru, because there's a lot riding on it. As Nina said, she it, it's everything. She would lose a lot of things. The apartment, the school, probably even her grandma's respect. Maybe. I'm not really sure about that. But... Something tells me we won't see the outcome of this for her story. Probably we know, like, if this show potentially got a second season, maybe we possibly could see it. But no, I love the fact that, you know, she brought Nina into her house, showed her the movie that her grandma was in, and how beautiful that ish was in 2D. Like, hand-drawn goodness. Come like on par with the CGI and especially like when the camera was looking at her grandma when she was younger and then it also showed Subaru that that is quality good fucking art like oh my god that was so beautiful like damn but I mean I, I do feel bad for Subaru because it, it's complicated it's very very complicated the one thing I am going to say about Nina, four weeks into this show, Nina is very the type of person who really just, <laughs> and I love her to death. She She's the baby and she's just, she needs to be protected regardless. But when it comes to people's feelings, it takes her a little while to take accountability for it because the fact is, remember, she's also been bullied at the end of the day. And I think, you know, because these are the first two friends that she's really had, I think the the thing is she's very much afraid to say anything to lose that lasting relationship that she has with them. And she's only known them for like, mm, I'd say a good month or two possibly and such, but she's not taking the accountability for her actions sometimes. She, she seems like a girl that is like sometimes, um, it's her way or it's no, it's nobody's way and such. And she really, a homegirl, she just loves lashing out a lot. I, I mean, I get it. There, I met some people like that too. I've done the lashing out thing and the next thing you know, when I go home and I cry about it a little bit more and I think, damn, I'm so stupid. Why the heck did I do that? And then I'm instantly calling them and be like, I am so sorry. I, like, I did not mean to do X, Y, and Z and such, but I get it. It's just... Once again, like, you would think that the relationship of Subaru and Nina would have been a lot better, like, especially with last week's episode. It felt like we went, we we took, like, several steps forward, and then we took a step back due to it, but now we're taking, like, a bazillion steps forward because it's a better, their friendship is a little more better and such, and their relationship is better, but something tells me, this ain't gonna be the last time we see these two argue. They're gonna argue as much. They're, like, freaking... They're kind of like uh, Kasumi and Adisa in in a way, kind of. But, like, Adisa didn't really argue a lot with Kasumi. Adisa, <laughs> Adisa was just like, you know what? I, I love you, but sometimes you're a little annoying. Especially when you watch season one of Bantany. Girl is like, I don't know about you. You a maybe. But I still like you, though. But, no, yeah. Monica? Ma'am, you, you for the other team? We hopefully get that answered soon. I mean, that doesn't need to be answered quickly. But it does need to be answered because she, she was very quiet on that answer. So, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode four of Girls Band Cry. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.